When a wolf brought a puppy back to his den, no one could have guessed what would happen to it. This story starts with a wolf and his mate. They had recently mated and were expecting cubs any day soon. Unfortunately, as it sometimes happens in nature, when the time came for the female wolf to give birth, she couldn't have expected that none of her cubs would survive. The female wolf couldn't believe or understand what had happened. She was devastated. The animal fell into a deep depression, mourning the loss of her babies. She was so sad that she even stopped eating. Her mate, the pack leader, didn't know what to do. He would bring her fresh meat every day. He would bring her fresh meat every day, in the hopes that it would help her regain her strength and make her feel better. But the female wolf didn't want it. She would simply turn her head away and refuse to eat. This distressed the male canine, as he did not want his mate to suffer. Because wolves mate for life, if the pack leader lost his mate, he too would be devastated. One day, the pack leader left to go on a hunt, but what he would bring back with him, none of the pack suspected. The male canine traveled far, stuck on the scent of some prey. He ended up walking through some woods, which were thick with bushes and thickets. It was here that the animal heard something strange. He stopped and pricked his ears up, wondering if he would hear the noise again. Coming from a thicket not too far away, a small squeak sounded, as if a mouse or small animal was calling for help. There, amongst the thicket, was a tiny puppy who was barely breathing. How the puppy got there is not known. Perhaps his mother had been astray and had given birth to him there, or maybe someone had cruelly left him to fend for himself. Either way, it seemed the tiny animal was now the pack leader's problem. The wolf sat down in front of the puppy and examined him. The wild canine didn't know what to do in this situation. The baby wasn't his, and so he didn't feel the need to help him. The wolf stood up again and began to walk off, but the puppy started crying. The young animal tried to get up and follow the wolf, but his tiny body was so cold, tired, and hungry that he fell back down again. The sight of the baby animal in such distress caused some instinct to stir in the male wolf. He couldn't leave such a helpless creature on its own. And so, the pack leader picked the puppy up by the scruff of its neck and ventured back into the forest from the way he had come. The pack leader soon returned to the den where his mate was waiting for him. Much like the last few times he had ventured out, the female wolf didn't seem interested in anything that the male canine was carrying. That was until the male wolf placed the puppy down next to his mate. Desperately hungry, the small pup started sniffing around until he found one of the female wolf's teats, which was still full of milk which her own cubs never got to drink. The puppy happily ate, finally relieved to be somewhere warm and safe and with a full belly. As the young canine was doing this though, something amazing happened with the female wolf. She seemed to perk up as if happy that she finally had a baby to nurse. The two animals formed a strong bond, and the puppy was accepted as one of the wolf pack's own cubs. The female wolf also recovered and seemed to get her love for life back again. She would eat, drink, and play with her new cub, happy to have someone to call her own. As the pup started to grow and get bigger, the pack leader began to teach him how to hunt and survive in the wilderness. The pup was able to pick up the skills quite fast and was even starting to outshine the real wolf cubs but it couldn't last. The pack leader knew that living in the wild with a pack of wolves was no place for a dog. One day, the pack leader took the young pup through the forest until they reached a small house on the outskirts of a village. The young pup was left by the house, but couldn't help but let out a sad whine at being left alone again. The noise alerted someone in the nearby house, a teenage boy called Michael, who ventured out of his home only to find the puppy sitting and staring at him. Michael was shocked to see him, but also thrilled. He hadn't wanted a dog for a long time, and now one had come to him. The young boy picked the little puppy up and immediately went to find his father to ask if they could keep him. Upon seeing the young dog, the boy's father instantly knew what kind of breed it was. It was a husky, perfect for helping the hunter with tracking and with fighting off any danger that might show itself in the forest, mostly wolves. The father let the boy keep the dog, who they went on to call Kalo, and it soon grew into a large, intelligent, and obedient canine. And 
an even more indispensable hunting companion, Kalo quickly became the leader of the pack of dogs due to his superior ability to track and hunt animals, skills that he remembered from his time with the wolf pack. When it came time to hunt wolves and bears, Kalo would simply refuse to move from the car, but because he was partially raised by wolves, he couldn't help in hunting them. Michael and Kalo grew up together and formed a very strong bond to the point where they would even sleep side by side. As the boy got older and more capable on his own, he started going hunting with just himself and Kalo. The boy's father noticed his son's eagerness to hunt and began to teach him everything he knew. One day, Michael, his father, and Kalo went into the forest to hunt some hares. They soon noticed some tracks in the snow and began to follow them. The tracking took longer than they thought though, and the father and son began to get hungry. They sat down on the trunk of a fallen tree and got out their lunch. Then, suddenly, the father felt a big shiver go up his back. Moments later, right across from the two hunters, a huge wolf emerged from the trees. It was a pack leader. The two men cautiously watched the animal, aware that if they made any sudden movements, it could attack them. Stuck facing the massive wolf on their own, as Kalo had wandered off into the woods somewhere, the father made a quick grab for his gun and leveled it at the pack leader. In turn, the wolf crouched down and began to growl, indicating that he was about to attack as well. Before either creature could make their move though, Kalo appeared from the woods and stood in between them. Seeing his best friend standing in front of the gun, Michael begged his father not to shoot so that he wouldn't accidentally hit the dog. The father slowly lowered his gun, but stood ready in case the wolf tried to suddenly attack. The pack leader cautiously went up to Kalo, who was wagging his tail happily, and sniffed him. At this, the dog rolled onto his back and showed the wolf his belly, the most vulnerable part of an animal, to show that he meant him no harm. The male wolf soon came to realize that the dog was the same puppy that he had once rescued. The canine let out a loud howl, and not long after, his mate appeared. She took a little while to identify the dog. All of the canines were happily wagging their tails and greeting each other like a long-lost family. The father and his son watched the interaction in fascination, as they had never seen anything like it before. Kalo happily snuggled up to his adoptive mother, who licked him on the muzzle affectionately. Before long, though, it was time to say goodbye. The animals all shared one last affectionate nuzzle before Kalo turned around and began to walk back home with his humans. The two wolves watched him as he left, but before he left the forest completely, the dog stopped and let out a loud howl, just as the pack leader had taught him to do. In response, the two wolves howled back as a final farewell to their adopted cub. Once the family were back home, Michael swore that he would never hunt wolves again due to what he had just witnessed. His father agreed with him, and they went back to their lives, knowing that they would never again witness something as special as the wolves and their dog again. How amazing was that story? Let me know what you think about it in the comments below.